The Kraken are universally known as mighty sea creatures, though until modern times more so by reputation. There are actually two kinds of Kraken both referred to by that name, both large sea monsters but with different characteristics. One, also referred to as Leviathans in Pandaria, resemble an octopus or a squid, while the other resembles a large armored fish. In general, though with plenty of exceptions on both sides, the fish type is usually found in the northern seas of Azeroth and the octopus type in the central and southern seas. It's worth pointing out that a kraken exists on alternate Junorb in a garrison shipyard mission and in the imagination of Captain Ironbeard. The two types of Kraken, while both are sea monsters which cause major disturbances on Azeroth's fleets and shipping lanes, are also heavily involved with some of the seafaring cultures of the world. Most notably, the octopus-type Kraken are frequently associated with the forces of the Old Gods, specifically the Naga, but they are also servants of the elemental lord Neptulon the Tidehunter. Their patriarch, the legendary Ozumat, considered until recently to be nothing more than a myth, was stated to be bent by the Naga to serve their will. Though also he is stated to be the father of the Merciless Ones, void creatures used by the Naga to brainwash, interrogate and enslave prisoners, but also summoned by Shadow Priests in combat. It thus seems possible that this variation of Kraken are somehow related to the Old Gods, though their exact relationship is unclear. On the other hand, the fish-like kraken are more typically the wild, uncontrollable beasts that you would expect. They are usually associated with the Qualdir, who use them in war and are considered to be important threats by the Naga, to the point that the Shara herself took the effort to imprison one in the Borean Tundra. The one exception to this is the Lurker Below, a fish-type kraken, probably in the service of Lady Vash in Outland. Notably, the Tuskar also worship one, Oakanoa, the, quote, watery goddess. It's worth pointing out that, when communing with her for a quest, she first asks the adventurer whether they are working with the Drakari trolls, who at the time were killing and ciphering the power of their Loa. This leads me to believe that Oakanoa is also a wild god, and that the fish-like kraken, unlike the octopus-like ones, are natural creatures, though all of this is unconfirmed. An old Gurubashi legend speaks of the tale of the Doom of Ilalai. For an unknown reason, Neptulon sent several Kraken, presumably the octopus type since multiple arms are mentioned in the story, to destroy the Gurubashi city of Ilalai. The tale speaks of the arrogance of the chief troll spellcaster, named Minloth the Serpent, who tried to use his magic against the approaching threat. While he initially seemed successful, he only succeeded in enraging the Kraken, uh, who had not felt pain in, quote, eons. The Kraken then turned their full fury on the city and on the spellcaster, quote, washing the city clean, end quote, and slaughtering all the trolls and the beasts who lived there. The destruction of the city and the loss of such a powerful spellcaster supposedly crippled the Gurubashi Empire, shattering their chieftains, Vargazul, who was away in Zogorub's dreams of conquest. However, since it is a legend, there is little practical evidence that the events of this tale took place, especially since they are not mentioned in the Chronicle series. The only evidence is a troll archaeology artifact, the Cinnabar Biju, whose inscription states that it was once the property of Minloth the Serpent. However, there is one fragment of the legend which is particularly interesting and points to the connection the octopus-like kraken possibly have with the old gods. To quote, They, the kraken, remembered when the old ones ruled and when the travelers, which is the old troll name for the titans, came and cast them down. They remembered when magic was new. They are old and they hold many secrets." End quote. While never stated outright and never mentioned again beyond the Day of the Dragon novel, the creature known as the Manta was likely also a kraken. The Manta, also known as the Behemoth of the Deep, 
was a being 10 times the size and strength of a dragon, believed to be unstoppable. It was killed about 130 years ago by the red dragon Coriolstras, who used an arrow covered in three drops of an unknown black liquid. He later used a single drop of the same liquid in an attempt to contact the green dragon aspect Isera and was so powerful that it brought him into a near-death sleep. Not much else is known about the manta, not even what it looked like, other than its supposedly legendary reputation. Shortly after the destruction of Faramore, Garrosh Hellscream used 8 Kraken, almost certainly the octopus type, to combat the Alliance fleet sent in retaliation. As the ships approached Bladefist Bay near Orgrimmar, Garrosh unleashed the creatures against them. The Kraken, who were somehow enslaved by magic, were especially furious yet unable to turn against their captors, they turned their anger on the Alliance ships, causing major damage. As a side note, this battle was also the third time Garrosh dueled with Varian Rin, with the same result that the battle was cut short by outside forces. The Kraken were eventually stopped by Jaina Proudmoore, who, by using the focusing iris of the Blue Dragonflight, enslaved an army of water elementals and killed all of the Kraken. The diminished alliance forces, now unable to attack Orgrimmar, instead focused on breaking the Horde blockade on Kalimdor and on retaking Northwatch Hold, lost during the Faramore campaign. <laughs> 